Hi, I'm Andrea Peters for Peters Packaging, and I'm here to show you today on how to put a pair of slippers or socks on a box. Again, we get to the point where you buy all the good pieces, you got wonderful socks that you found, and you have your product in a box, and you bought you know, this particular box. I think the tall boxes are better for long products, and then you don't know how to get it on. One of the things I want to um, make mention as we're doing this particular video is to show you how you know, these socks come in pre-packs, usually it's, it's three, and you can buy them anywhere, you know, um, Big Lots and Walmart or any, any of those types of stores have all kinds of fuzzy socks for Christmas. This is my second number one selling um, item personally for my customers. So this had a striped sock in it, it had this little animal print sock, and it had this white sock. So some of the things that you might want to consider is what looks best on what box. I happen to like that one on black and on a plain one, they always throw in those plain ones. I like to zap up the box a little bit. So we're gonna put this one together for you today. So how this works is like this. Okay, we're gonna do this. Let's get our box together. Oops, the tabs go in. So now you have a nice finished box. And I like to take my socks and is that how I did it? Yep, that's how I did it. I go like this, and then I, I gather them here. So let me show you. Let's take this ribbon. Again, um, I often see where you guys have just taken the socks and try to shove them underneath the ribbon. And ours are on there twice, knotted twice. So I knot the box. So I have the ribbon on there knotted so that it doesn't go anywhere. Then I take and I gather these up right here, and I'm going to just do that, see? Just do that and we're gonna tie them in the middle of this box. Just tie them on, so now they're not gonna go anywhere. So they can be transported by your customer and they're not gonna go places. There you go, cute little pair of socks right on there. Okay, you not that, so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I love polka dot ribbon and polka dots are huge and they're still very Christmassy. So um, a lot of times people think you only can use a Christmas pattern and this polka dot ribbon is awesome. You want wired ribbon, this has a wire. Again, it should be about 20 inches. I might have just cut this one, but you go like that, make that cancer loop. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Wow, it's getting away from me. Whoops, good thing I'm not a surgeon. Whoops, 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 there we go. This ribbon is a little slippery. There we go, let's get it in the center, here we go. Okay, so we have our loop there, and now you have your bow. See your bow? It'll go on once I get it on the box, it'll be okay. And we're gonna tie it right there. Now one of the things that's really important when you're doing this is you have to get the right proportions. I've seen people put way too big a bow on their boxes. And see, here we go. So now, this is too long. Look how cute that looks. So we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna fold this in half. Now it's too long, so let's bring it up to here. There we go. And let's get our bow fluffed. Look how pretty. It's cute, cute, cute. And let's do this one. And another thing that we do when we make our stuff is we, and this is too long, let's fold this guy in half. There we go. You don't wanna take away from the cute socks. Fold it in half. Cut so we get look. This is detail. When you pay attention to detail, you end up with a way prettier product by putting these little V's. Okay, we're on TV. We get to throw this on the floor. Nah. And then you can you can add a, a little bead like this. These are balls. We buy bags and bags and bags of balls, and balls comes in all sizes. And this is a little ball. You could we could have put a black one on that too if we wanted to. But, there you go. Now look at, there's your finished product. Here's one here. Now this one I put two ribbons on. I put another one of those little cancer ribbons loops inside this one, and this one I only put one on. And there you have a finished product. When you're doing these kinds of gifts, I have them in baskets. People absolutely love them. They're marked, um, they're all finished ahead of time. I, we make up like 50 and 60 of these at a pop and they, we, we team them. So we have this one and then there's 
pastel socks and whatever, whatever you, whatever you can find in your marketplace. And then we buy the boxes accordingly. So there's there's white and there's red and there's silver and there's gold, and there's black. So you have choices so that you can enhance the products that you're selling. Um, this makes a person feel good to receive it, and it makes a person feel good to give it. So I hope you have a good season. And there you go, how to do a thought. I want to thank Whole Life Services and my crew for the commercials that we did today. And I want you to meet them. So we have Ashley, Emily, and Bethann. I want to tell you these people are wonderful and I hope you enjoy the videos today. And I want to thank Whole Life Services for providing such great help. Thanks. Yay! Yay!